Hey, orange one here. Welcome to Kenshi. We're gonna do another series. This one's gonna be a Hivers only series. My intention is also to be naming the characters after um, patrons or YouTube members or whatever, you know, part of that little elite, elite club, right? <laughs> so this is Russ, who's one of my um, current patrons. I also, I've got two others that I'm gonna be naming after. So it's gonna be a relatively small squad, at least for now. <laughs> So yeah, um, Russ, he basically is just this peasant in the desert. He's just starving Shaq peasant who has always lived in the desert for as long as he can remember. Just lost his arm a um, long time ago. It's like Mad Max where it's mysterious. We don't know exactly what happened, but it was sad. Anyways, Russ is... As you can imagine, going to be just trying to survive out here. And we've got basically some people, some stuff. And he really wants that stuff. So Russ is going to be motivated by greed, is, is kind of what I'm thinking. He's like always been super poor. He's always wanted the riches. And he's going to try and take it, you know, any means necessary. Whatever that means. And there's, he's going to run into some other high, um, not hyvers. I'm so used to my hyvers only playthrough. <laughs> they were, that's a really long playthrough. If you're into Kenji, you might be familiar with that. Um, so yeah, we're going to try and do like a couple are check that are motivated by like different things. But this one is going to be just one team to be able to survive out here. Oh, what did you... Sand ninjas? You, you guys took out sand ninjas? Hold up. I might be able to get some gear from this. What's the deal here? We went down. There's some... There's some dudes that are, like, really good. If I could run up and grab their gear, that'd be great. But I'm also worried that these outlaw farmers might be hostile to me. They're not currently hostile to me. I might be able to get some gear here. Kind of, let's observe. What's what's the deal? Oh, that's a roaming group. There's a roaming group, and then there's um, people who are living here. I think if I just go up here, I think we'll be okay. I don't see any crossbows either. Nice. Oh my gosh. This is insane, right off the get-go, getting gear like this. Off sand, sand ninjas. It's like, we have like healing gear now. This is amazing. Now all we need to do is find a friend. Absolutely phenomenal. Okay, um, are either one of you worth anything? Oh, what? This one's even worth a lot. I can't carry him though, can I? Because I've only got one arm. Yeah. So, Russ, you got yourself some stuff. Let's see see how, what else you can do. Oh, you're kind of weighed down though. See, here's the problem is Russ is such a low strength character at this point. Can't really carry all this gear. There's room. Got caught stealing. I, I, I don't really care about getting caught stealing. Unless they're hostile to me. Okay, these guys are attacking someone. I think that was starting to get up. Um, these guys I don't want to attack. I just kind of want to like get safe and have Russ get your strength up because uh, we need that. So Athletics is going up. Maybe that's... Well, that's good. Athletics is going up a fair amount. So what I would really like is us to maybe get to a city. I would like to get to like shack controlled territories, but we'll see if we can get there. Um, you just gotta be keeping an eye out. There's man hunters there, so I could get enslaved by them and that would be a relatively safe start. There's, they're a group to keep an eye on for sure. 
it's weird in the desert you want to be enslaved <laughs> it's a, ke a kenchi inside joke right it is strangely a, vi a very good strategy yeah so i think russ right here he's he's liking his clothes i mean they're pretty nice it's nice having clothes as to not having clothes but you can also see some shiny bits of metal on some people see some other shack over there you know he he kind of he kind of wants that he wants he wants some of the gear right he knows that he can't carry it he shouldn't really go for it but though those outlaw swordsmen just destroyed those manhunters i don't want to go loot the manhunters right now just simply because i can't carry the stuff but it would be really good to upgrade some of our gear Yeah, we gotta get this athletics up though. That's that's the primary thing that we need to do right now is get it so that we can at least run. And we're about to get there. Cool. And we also need to I know that a lot of people will speed the game up, but especially this early on in the game, I would not recommend that. I would recommend just kinda checking it out. Also enjoying the beautiful environments of the game. I mean not that beautiful, but I mean they're pretty good too. So if I can catch that Shinobi Thief, he's going to be a really powerful dude to take out enemies, hostiles, so maybe I follow him. He's got all of his four original limbs, so no cybernetics yet. Um, hold on. I think these guys, you want to not move around. I think they attack you if you're, if you're running around them. I didn't get the message, but... You get that dialogue if you got multiple people. So I'm just gonna, you know, be sneaky. Okay, it looks like we're in the clear, I think. And then I am gonna actually give myself a medic job in case it comes up, but I don't think it's gonna come up. So, yeah, I also was one of the rules that I wanted to impose on myself, but not necessarily right at the start, is that because we're Shek only, we're going to be only trading with Shek. So, in my head, I wanted Russ to um, essentially have some issues with the United City and how corrupt they are. And, of course, the Holy Nation, I imagine we're going to run into some issues with them. And so we're probably going to try and find refuge in the Shek kingdom, you know? We'll see. We'll see how that goes. This dude, I think we're going to be able to catch up to them, especially if I can get my athletics leveled up. Yay. And our strength. Also, that'd be nice. Yeah, it's it's getting there. So yeah, I think that that's the general plan. I've got a pretty good idea of what I want to do. I'm not sure who else we're going to run into. I know that there's also going to be Reth and I think Rusty, and I, we've got Rust as well. So we've got, oh no, this dude won't trade with me. He's just too cool. So I don't know about Rust and Rusty. <laughs> it's kind of, I think, funny if like two of the people end up having like very similar names. Um, Rust, can we not run into those guys right there? I mean, yeah avoid the, that group of farmers. I think that they might mess me up. I don't think that I can fight them. I think the Shinobi Thief will just decimate them, though, if they do fight. And then I, I sh should be able to get some meat off of the dog, and that would be good for our character. It is still starving, I might add. I know. It's it's kind of a, a cruel world. This world in Kenshi, but I think that we do need the meat, so I think we're gonna... Watch this play out and get that bone dog. Maybe that shinobi thief doesn't take them out, but... Oh yeah, he got taken out. Oh my gosh, they took out the shinobi thief. He's a shinobi smuggler. Okay, um... He's got a backpack. Are they gonna, like, take food and head out? Like, where are you guys gonna go? 
I kind of want to head away from you, so if you head my way, I can just move around. What do we have up there? Vagrants. Just like zombies, basically. <laughs> Kenshi zombies. <laughs> Honestly, they kind of act like zombies. They're just like a mindless horde of like low tier troops. With, like sticks and no armor. Right? Zombies. Okay, this dude's gonna get up in 40 something seconds. So we got time. Am I leveling up stealth right now? Is that getting any higher? It is actually cool. Well, that's probably good. It's probably good for us. Oh man. Okay, well, we got a backpack full of stuff. <laughs> um, cool. Good for us, I guess. This would give attack damage. I don't know. Let's, let's do that, I suppose. Oh, those are actually not half bad either. And I might take the Drifter's Lair Jacket. I like that, I think. No, I, I definitely want to keep that. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to... Yeah, I think that the, that's looking pretty good. Oh, actually, hold on. Put on, on the shoes. Cool, we have shoes now. I don't know why I didn't have shoes beforehand, but we should be faster now. Slash maybe slower because we have a backpack on. He's playing dead, but I don't think he's got a way of healing. I think I left him with um, melee weapons, right? All right, Shopatai. There's roads here, which means I think there's like traders along the roads. So I don't know if we want to go onto the roads. Yeah, so the, one of the mods that I have shows you like the major roads to and from places, which is super helpful because they're kind of hard to see in the desert, first of all. <laughs> and second of all, you can avoid them or like be a bandit along them. It's pretty cool. We might, we might be a desert bandit. We'll see how that goes. So yeah, let me know if you guys want more of this, if you're liking... Um, the series so so far i'm open for giving some input i also uh did want to i know plug a little bit more about the uh the patreon uh because i have like a secret room in the discord i want to give that like a little bit more leeway in terms of what ends up happening with the characters but i also want to get input from general audience as well you know Let's just say that some people's input is going to matter more than others. <laughs> Alright. That's, it's the Kenji way, right? You gotta... You gotta be cold sometimes. Okay, see... Zombies. See what I mean? Look at them. Look into their eyes. Zombie. 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 Right? We could even get dramatic with, with this. We could do the F7, get the uh, get rid of the surroundings. Look at that. Tell me those are not zombies. Right? Here we are. Though, probably increasing our, our stealth training if we are close to them. Okay, so we can actually see the town. So if we can see the town, we should be okay. Now, if I can get in the town, we're golden. I would like to, again, only trade with Shaq. So if we can find a Shaq, like, bartender or someone in there, then I'm going to trade with them. Hey! Um, well, and that's, like, is that a noble? Uh-oh. That's a noble hunter. You do not want to run into them, especially at this point in the game. They will hunt you. They literally will hunt you. If they're even coming my way, I might want to just dip, like drop the backpack and run. Don't think that we're within distance of them. Yeah, that is not a group that is going to play nicely with me. The, the noble, he alone, I think, has like a sniper on him. 
Like this is this is the world of Kenshi. I'm like super beginner level dude right here, and then this dude up here, he's just gonna hunt me. Or she, I think she is just gonna hunt me with her prisoners. That she's also gonna be like, hey, go charge in and fight them, while I shoot arrows at them. And then these dudes, if you try and attack, the noble will attack you. It's it's pretty brutal. <laughs> They're not ones to uh, to mess with. Let's just say that. I think that we're in the clear, though. This is why I said don't speed it up. <laughs> and maybe I shouldn't be going into the first city with a bag full of hashish on me. Maybe I can dump that outside and then... I don't know. Because if they catch me and attack me they might kill me i'm i'm not that well armored i do have a couple first aid kits i would have a first aid kit on myself if i was able to not just like die from whatever hit i took but i'm very nervous about whatever hit i end up taking okay noble where are you going don't you dare come over here just perpetually afraid of them. Now, they're pretty rare occurrence in the desert. It's pretty crazy that I'm seeing them. First time going out here. Now they're going that way? Great. Okay, well, we're not gonna go that way then. We'll see where they end up going from there. Because I think they might be wandering around the city. If that's the case, then we're in for some trouble. Okay, there's also that group there. I wanted to be avoiding. Gosh. Oh, look, we can see commerce happening. Yay, commerce. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like maybe, Russ, you should just kind of wait it out here. That's the shinobi smuggler who's trying to go through here. And now there's... Who are these people? Sand ninjas? I think I'm just going to try and avoid you, honestly. If you're going the other w that way, I might turn and go this way. and see if we can go around this way. Again, we are increasing our athletics. So, this is okay. As long as we are improving. I think we are actually also improving our strength considerably, which is good. Which is very good, considering that we're a shack. We gotta need to use that. Let's see, those nobles are going definitely that way, so let's go this way. Come on, Russ, I believe in you. By the way, Russ also has a um, Twitch channel, I think. I don't know if he also does YouTube. Uh, he, he streams, I've seen him doing Valheim a couple times recently. Which I'm not sure. I might I might check that game out. I might not. Oh, is that? Those are... Are those skimmers? No, I don't think those are skimmers. Those look kind of like what the skimmers look like. Now the noble is going that way. As long as he doesn't turn around. Okay. Man, I can see the gate. If I can get into that city... Life will be a lot easier for us. See, these guys are like the normal patrols. They're like totally fine to be around. Wait, bowmen? Bows? Did it, one of the mods I add, add bows. I think it's crossbowmen. I think that the samurai, they don't normally have crossbowmen in that one of the mods must have added them in. Yeah, so in this one you can totally take over um, cities and stuff and so they've rebalanced them that's also part of the reason that i'm not playing with the damage settings that i had on the last one and also the fact that i'm gonna have a very small squad i might raise it because it's at the one to one ratio i might do two to one i was doing four to one in the hybrids only series and everyone was just like melting they're just getting cleaved constantly but i figured if i'm also doing a smaller squad then i don't want that happening so much necessarily we'll see 
Okay, there's some manhunters there. Come on, Russ. We can sneak past them. Can we? These manhunters. This noble. Samurais, okay. I think we can kind of go to the right, maybe. Yeah, I think that we should be clear from this distance. That's the smuggler. <laughs> oh man, good times. If I can get us a proper left arm, that would be great. But we're not going to be able to get a proper one, but we could maybe get one from... Um, Hivers, if we need to. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to do some trading. I just would prefer not to. You know? Okay, Manhunters kind of going with them. Okay. Noble's going that way. Perfect. I will, I will take that. I'll gladly, gladly go towards the city with my bag full of hashish. that we'll dump before we actually enter, right? Maybe I should dump that out here. I want to keep it in my reality bubble, is the thing, as well. Is that I don't want it disappearing when I, like, unload the game. You know? That does happen. It's too far away, but I figured if we saw the cost, like, way back there, we've been in the reality bubble for a while now for the city. Because there's, like, certain distances are processed, like, in real, like, I don't know. To the extent you would expect for, like, actual, the actual simulation. But then there's some other things that kind of go on. Kato, drifters. Um, what's going on with you, Kato? Why are you running over there? Just hanging out with those manhunters. The manhunters won't try and enslave me in the city, will they? I feel like they might. I'm a little bit nervous about going in around the same time as them. Empire peasants. Hey, these are my, my people. No, you're not. But you are. Where are you guys being? Are you guys then, like, escorted? What it looks like. See, if we were able to bring this in, we would make tons of money. But we can also make plenty with other stuff. So I'm actually going to... Um, Leave that out here for now. It'd be so funny if one of them accuses me of carrying stuff on me. Okay, let's, uh, let's go in here. Let's get ourselves maybe a better backpack. Our encumbrance did go down as well. Um, hold on. Are those the manhunters? No, it's the peasants. The manhunters are going the other way. Perfect. Okay, it looks like we're in the clear. Looks like we got to show Bataille. Managed to navigate through the desert without getting um, completely wrecked. Man, if I die here, if they like, if these guards attack me, I'm gonna be so mad. I mean, there's a chance that they wouldn't kill me. We have gotten our toughness up a decent amount, or not toughness, our strength. But th doesn't that increase? Go on through, nice. Thank you, gentlemen. Pleasure doing business with you. If there's a Sheck recruit in the bar, I'm gonna grab them. If I can get 6k from what we have. Or even 3k. You can get some some recruits for that, like, super, super cheap. You can also recruit prisoners, but I think that we're not gonna do that. Oh, we never got our food. We should probably get some food. If I can get another recruit, though, I'm not gonna get food. Yeah, we can... We're, we're totally actually fine now. Alright, um, I'm gonna... I kind of... I really do want one of those, but I think that maybe... Let's hold on to what we have. Okay, Russ, we're gonna... Go to the bar. Is there a bar around here? Bar. There we go. Go down to the bar. See who we can find down there. And also get yourself a little snack. Why don't you? We can have like a little dried meat or something. You know, Russell's doing pretty good. This is... I'm pretty happy 
you know? For this character who's a starving peasant, and you, you see, you're doing pretty good. Going through the busy industrial part of town. Hello, gentlemen. And bugs and people and, you know. These must be the, the thieves, yeah. So I thought anyone, any shack. Ah, there's a barman. Nope. Oh, um, there's a pacifier. See, plants might join me. But if we're doing shack only, we can't have plant, plant join us. All right. Barkeep. Just because I'm starving. Now, I do want to be maybe careful about leaving town. Because we could get messed up doing that. Is there another bar in town? There is some in... I think in some towns there's two of them. Is that... Headgear. We got ourselves um, some better gear. I mean, I feel like our character is super duper slow right now. It might just befit us to just kind of follow a guard for like, put that order on and just kind of let the time go for a little bit. Oh, a bloody. Uh oh. We got someone who's trying to cause the scene. Uh oh. Are they gonna cause the thing? Are they gonna start a fight? I don't know if I can I can survive a fight if they do. Hopefully I would get healed if they did. I wanna say that the guards would heal me. Or that someone would. I'm just gonna put myself in the area of high traffic. Okay, they're not going to attack me. Good. Yay. I didn't get hate primed. That was kind of sketch. Like, seriously, those dudes will mess you up. Oh, look, there's another bar. Like, that's the one really good thing about Kenji, is they do a really good job of simulating that stuff where you're like, oh no, oh gosh. The crazies, they're right there. What do I do? I'm like super weak, right? They put, they put you in that world and it makes you kind of feel like it. Oh, Azumi, you're one of the special NPCs. She's like a chef or a healer or something. I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, look, there's there's my, uh, my buddy from the Shinobi. Smuggler, I could talk to him. I think that they are a traitor, essentially. I saw that there was something on the counter there. I thought I might want to take it. I don't think I do, though. I think what we want to do is look at getting some gear. You can also liberate people from here, and I think that there's a chance that they'll join you. But it costs, like, a fair amount, doesn't it? To buy people, to set them free. Okay, well, we're getting near a half an hour, so I think I'm going to be ending this pretty soon. Russ, you made it. You're in a city. Somehow. Um, yeah, there's no no Shek. Sorry, everyone. We're not... If you're not Shek, we're not interested. We have very limited resources. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm going to end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been... Orange one.